For the first time in my 22 years of existence, I truly feel lost. I spent the last two years unemployed, working on myself, healing my body from illness, and creating. I built a solid routine around my day-to-day -to, -day to keep myself healthy and in check. I took up my love for reading and writing again. I began to make art and draw again. I even discovered my love for cooking. I did countless hours of meditation and spiritual healing, including journaling and practicing gratitude. I spent more time with my mom and my family, creating better relationships. I went hard with content creation and racked up a small following on my social media. I worked with friends and peers on different styling projects as a fashion stylist to further my passion for fashion. All of which was fantastic, but I began to ask myself, how could everything I've ever done up until now lead me to this very moment? And how did all of my conscious choices lead me to complete and utter despair? For the first time in four years of making content, I contemplated giving it up. I even questioned abandoning what I love, which is making art. I felt like it didn't matter what I did, I would still be lost. But everyone says you have to lose yourself to find yourself, right? I mean, if that's true, then what does finding yourself look like? And then, what now? There's more than a million things I could do now, and we all have free will. But for the first time in my life, I have full autonomy over things. No parents telling me what to do or where to go. No friends or relationships tying me to a city. No job or school commending me to stay put. I realized I can literally go wherever I want, and there's absolutely nothing stopping me. Maybe that's what makes me feel so scared. The thought of ultimate freedom, which I had longed for for years, is now right in front of me. So why not take that first step? What was stopping me? Well, the only answer was me. I was stopping me. I could go in any direction, anywhere in the world. And for someone who spent the majority of their life doing what everyone else wanted and living for anyone but myself, I should be more excited to finally be free, right? The thought of staying where I am scares me, and for years, I dreamt of leaving, so why the hesitation? I kept hearing, what now, and where, in my head. I began to stress myself into physically being sick for five days, before I reminded myself that it's up to me, and I'm the only one who can tell me what to do. But again, that idea of complete freedom was truly terrifying, even for somebody who is hyper-independent. I spent my whole life imagining what freedom would feel like, and now I'm faced with a thousand different paths, all empty, with no direction, and taking one just feels like a shot in the dark. Follow your heart, they say. What happens if your heart is just as lost as your head? What does it mean to be lost? And how can you feel found? I once heard the only way to figure things out was to go out and do things, try new things, and experience your life. Similarly, all it takes is one conversation with someone to completely change your life. Sometimes that's all it takes, a few simple words. So, let me share with you some simple words that have helped me now that I feel completely lost. Number one, how does this get me to where I wanna go? I like this one because it keeps me on track and reminds me to dedicate my time and energy carefully. Never waste your time on things that don't bring you value. And always ask yourself, is what I'm doing getting me closer to where I wanna be? And if it's not, then maybe you need to reevaluate. Number two, the journey is more important than the destination. It's easy to get tunnel vision and to forget to stop and smell the roses from time to time. Trust me, I do it too. It's important to be grateful for the time you spent along the way to your destination because that's where growth happens. They say the climb is what makes the summit feel worth it. Similarly, it's the things we did along the way to our goals that make that end goal feel truly satisfying. And number three, it's never too late to live the life you've always wanted. At any point in your life, you can go back and explore anything you may have dreamed of. It's never too late. I know for me, I used to want to make movies, and I spent so much of my life not giving it a go out of fear, but then I reminded myself, your time is now, and you just have to start. So, no matter what point in your journey that you're at, whether you're 50, 15, or in your early 20s like me, it's okay to feel lost sometimes. The unknown can be scary at first, but it doesn't have to be. If we knew where to go all the time, would we still go out and explore? Would we still be curious and seek out new adventures? Maybe we would, but 
Either way, I like to think feeling lost is sometimes what makes life truly beautiful.